Line item, statement of financial position, PAS 1, paragraph 54. So, itong numbers na 1 to 18, ito yung line items na lalabas sa statement of financial position. Line items, pero hindi lang limited dito sa 1 to 18 yung line of items. Pwedeng may matanggal dyan, or pwede rin niyang matagdagan. Kung ang account na nasa trial balance is hindi magpo-follow sa kung ano ang sinasabi or kung ano ang inindicate ng standard na line item. So iisa-isahin natin yung line items. Number one, cash and cash equivalents. So CA, CA means yan ay current assets. So siya yung unang-unang line item sa balance sheet or sa statement of financial position under PAS1. So ano yung mga nasa loob? or yung mga nakapaloob sa line item na yan. Diyan nakapaloob yung petty cash fund, um, cash on hand, cash in bank, and yung cash equivalents. Okay, ano ba ang significance ng line items na to? Ano ba yung purpose niya? Kapag kasi gumagawa ng statement of financial position under PAS1 is yung mga accounts na petty cash fund, cash on hand, cash in bank, and cash equivalents, kapag yan lumabas na sa balance sheet, nakalump sila or naka-aggregate sila under ng cash and cash equivalents. So for example, petty cash fund is 10, cash on hand is 10. Cash in bank is 10 and cash equivalent is 10 din. Ngayon, pag pumunta yan sa balance sheet or sa statement of financial position, ang sinasabi ng standard, i-aggregate siya sa cash in cash equivalents na 40,000. Number 2, financial assets other than 1, 3, and 6. So, ano naman yung mga nakapaloob dito? Yung mga nakapaloob sa financial assets is dyan pumapasok yung mga financial assets at fair value through profit or loss or yung mga trading securities. Number three, trade and other receivables. So, ano naman yung mga nakapaloob dito? Dito naman nakapaloob yung tinatawag na mga receivables. So, accounts receivable, notes receivable, and yung allowance for doubtful accounts, yung contra asset ng accounts receivable, dyan din siya nilalagay. And other current receivables. Diyan nakalagay sa trade and other receivables. Inventories. So, inventories naman, diyan naman nakalagay yung raw materials or yung direct materials inventory, work in process inventory, finished goods inventory, and yung tinatawag na manufacturing supplies. Diyan siya nakalagay sa inventories. PPE. So, yung mga PPE, yung land, building, machinery, and yung kalilang corresponding accumulated depreciation dito sa line item na kalagay. Property, plan, and equipment. Number six, investment in associates accounted for by equity method. So, meron din siya sariling line item. Intangible assets. So, yung patent, franchise, trademarks, etc. Dito naman ilalagay sa intangible assets line item. Number eight, investment property. So, yung may separate line item doon yung mga investment property na accounts. Biological assets. Meron din. Total assets classified as held for sale, which is current asset. Trade and other payables. So, ano naman yung mga nakapaloob sa trade and other payables na current liabilities? CL. Diyan nakalagay yung accounts payable, notes payable na related sa trade, Dividends payable, dyan din nilalagay. Any form of dividend, except share dividend. Dyan din nakalagay yung interest payable at accrued expenses. <coughs> Current tax asset and liability. So, may sarili din siyang line item. Deferred tax asset and liability. Provisions. Pwedeng current, pwedeng non-current. Financial liabilities, other than 11. And 14. So, dito naman nakalagay yung mga, yung mga financial liabilities held for trading. 
Liabilities included in disposal group as held for sale. So, meron din siyang sariling line item. Non-controlling interest. So, may encounter nyo to sa accounting for business combinations. Yan ay shareholders equity. Or sorry, nasa shareholders equity siya nakalagay. Na account. Na section ng balance sheet. Then, yung number 18. Share capital and reserve. So, dito naman nakalagay yung um, preference share, ordinary share, retained earnings. Diyan sa line item na iyan. Prepare in good form properly a properly classified statement of financial position in accordance with the PFRS. The following items are available from the records of EC Company on December 31, 2020. So, given yung mga accounts ni EC Company. And, yung mga accounts is hindi siya nakasort. Kung baga, naka siya, naka-shuffle yung given. So, may accounts payable, accounts receivable, may prepaid and retained earnings. So, madaming given account na naka-shuffle. Okay. Kapag gantong naka-shuffle ang given, ang pwede nyong gawin is una is i-check muna natin kung balance ba yung mga figures sa basic accounting model. So, lagay muna natin yung um, basic accounting model. We have assets equals liabilities plus equity. Okay, isa-isahin natin. Accounts payable that is liability. Accounts payable 350,000. Accounts receivable asset Property, plant, and equipment, asset account. Ang amount ng property, plant, and equipment ay 5.6 million. Accumulated depreciation, 1.2 million sa asset negative. Mortgage payable, liability account, 1.5. Share capital, 4 million equity account cash and cash equivalents so siya ay asset 800,000 sorry may na-skip share premium 500,000 equity <clears throat> accrued expenses liability inventories asset account 900. Long-term investment, so yan din ay asset. Notes payable, long-term. Liability, 500,000. Notes payable, short-term. Liability, 200,000. Ano pa? Office supplies, yan ay asset. 50,000 Prepaid rent Asset account 150 Retained earnings 1.35 million So nailagay na natin sa basic accounting model yung yung mga given and ang gagawin natin is check natin kung yan ba ay balance Assets must be equal sa liabilities plus equity Okay, bago tayo mag sa checking ng total, so mayroong isang nakalimutang account na hindi na ilagay dito sa ating basic accounting model, which is itong patent. So, yung patent is an intangible asset dito sa asset portion. Patent, 800,000. So, 450 plus 5.6 plus 1. minus 1.2 plus 800 plus 900 plus 950 plus 50 plus 150,000 plus 800,000 equals 8.5 million total assets. 350 plus 1.5 million plus 100 plus 500 plus 200 equals ang total liabilities natin ay 2.65 million. Equity, 4.5 plus 1.35 million. That is 5.85 million. 
So, assets equals liabilities plus equity. So, balance ang ating basic accounting model. So, na-check na natin na ang balances ng, or yung mga amounts na nasa given is um, balance sa basic accounting model. So, ang susunod natin gagawin is lalagyan natin siya ng kanilang corresponding line item. Okay. Accounts receivable. So, siya ay sa trade and other receivables. PPE. So, siya ay sa PPE line item. Accumulated depreciation. PPE din. Cash and cash equivalents as is. So, ito na yung mga line item para sa balance sheet natin. Inventory as is. Long-term investment as is. Office supplies. So, ilalagay natin siya sa prepaid expenses dahil ang office supplies an example of prepaid expense din. Prepaid rent is a prepaid expense. Patent intangible asset. Accounts payable, trade and other payables, mortgage payable, as is, accrued expense, trade other payables, long notes payable, long term, as is, ang line line item, notes payable, short term, as is. Equity accounts, so, i-as is natin ang kanilang line item. So, gagawa na tayo ng statement of financial position. So, yung heading, then una, yung section ng assets. And assets, we have current assets. Unang-una dyan yung cash and cash equivalents. Ito, cash and cash equivalents, that is 800,000. Next, trade and accounts trade and other receivables. So, nag-iisa lang. So, since nag-iisa lang siya, yung trade and other receivables, pwede na natin ilagay yung mismong account title. Accounts receivable, 450,000. Next is inventory. Inventory, 900,000. Then, next is prepaid expense. Ito yun. Prepaid expense. Ilan ang prepaid expense? Isa, dalawa. So, dahil dalawa sila na nakapaloob sa isang line item, dyan na papasok nila tawag na note 1. Ayan, may number 1 na. That is 200,000 pesos. Wala na bang current asset? Wala na. So, total current asset is 800 plus 450 plus 900 plus 200 equals 2.35 million. Later on, gagawa natin to ng notes to financial statements itong may mga number 1, number 2, and so on. Next, Non current assets. Yan. Non current assets, we have property plan and equipment. PPE. Ilan ang PPE na nasa line item or account? Dalawa. So, dyan na papasok yung another note dahil dalawa silang nakapaloob. 5.6 minus 1.2 equals 4.4 million. Next, long-term investments. Since nag-iisa lang siya, so wala siyang no. Next is intangible assets. Patent. Nag-iisa lang din ang intangible assets. So, pwede natin ilagay as yan, as account title. 800,000 pesos. Total non-current assets Equals 4.4 plus 950 plus 800 equals 6.15 million pesos. Total assets, 
2.35 plus 6.15 equals 8.5 million pesos. So, 8.5 million yung total assets. Okay, next is liabilities and shareholders' equity. Liabilities, we have current liabilities. We have the trade and other payables. So, ilan ang trade and other payables? Isa, dalawa. 350 plus 100 equals 450. And since na dalawa siya, that would be our note number 3. Next, notes payable. Short term, that is current liability, 200,000. Total non-current liability ay 650,000 pesos. Non-current liability, we have mortgage payable, 1.5 million. Notes payable, Long term, that is 500,000. So, 2 million total non-current liabilities. Total liabilities ay 2.65 million pesos. Okay, shareholders equity. We have share capital. 4 million share premium that is 500,000 retained earnings 1.35 million total shareholders equity is 5.85 million therefore total liabilities and shareholders equity is 8.5 million pesos so, susunod natin gagawin yung mga notes to financial statements dun sa balance sheet na ginawa natin. Okay, so ito na yung mga notes to financial statements na nailagay natin sa ating balance sheet. So, para maipakita kung ano yung breakdown ng bawat note, we have the prepaid expense at 200. Ito yung breakdown niya. PPE at note 2. Ito yung breakdown niya. And trade and other payables. Ito yung kanyang breakdown. So, nagawa na natin yung statement ng financial position. According sa PFRS and yung kanyang mga notes to financial statements.